Number nine then from paper two of the 2016 new hire. There we go, you're given the derivative of a function and you have to reconstruct the original function in terms of x with this additional bit of information, of course, to find the value of the constant that will pop out of the inevitable integration. Well, first of all, that's not suitable yet. So we'll separate that into two terms. That would be 2 root x over x and 1 over root x. I think I meant to say root x there. Then that would be root x on top, which is 2 to the power of half. Or if you want to think of it as 1 take away half is a half. And that'll be x to the negative a half. So that's what that part is equal to. Now you can go ahead and work your way back to the original one by integrating this. You'll probably just be allowed to go straight into that without ex stating that you're integrating it because it would be obvious from what you'd write next, but I'm setting it out anyway. So add 1 to the power, goes up to 3 upon 2. Instead of dividing by 3 upon 2, which is a bit clumsy, I'll multiply by the reciprocal, so it's times 2 upon 3. Add 1 to the power, so it's up to a half. Instead of dividing by half, I'll multiply by the reciprocal, so that's times 2, plus c. So there we go. That's the answer to the integral. Now, to find c, I'll pop those numbers in. Now, the thing is, there's some calculation to be done, and it is a calculator paper, so you're probably inclined to just leave it as power 3 upon 2, because you can just type that in. But I think I'm going to write this back the way it was. 4 upon 3 times, and that's the square root of x cubed, and that's plus 2 times the square root of x plus c. Then I'll pop up here, I think, to give myself some room. So... The answer is 40 when x is 9. 2 times root 9 plus c. Of course, if you're doing it in your calculator, you would have evaluated it using those indices, I suppose. Square root first, that's 3. Cubed is 27, but divided by 3 is 9. Times the 4 is 36. 2 3s are 6 plus c. 42 away from 40 is negative 2, so I know c is negative 2. Which means I can finish it off. f of x equals 4 upon 3 times the square root of x cubed plus 2 times the square root of x minus 2. But you probably still get the marks if you just left it in index form as x to the 3 upon 2 and x to the half. Just like putting it back the way I found it.